This is just a quick video to show how to search for templates online with PowerPoint 2013. Let's say I want to create a presentation on monetary policy. I can start PowerPoint and this is the start screen you will see with the uh, themes that are available to me shown in thumbnail on the right hand side of the screen and a search box at the top of the screen. Now if I were to type monetary policy in the search box I would find nothing because that's too specific a term. But if I type money my chances are good. So let's try that. And here are a few templates that I can uh, create a presentation from or simply pin to my start screen and use later. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. One thing I want to draw your attention to is the aspect ratio of the template. The new default aspect ratio in PowerPoint 2013 is 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio, not the old 4 by 3 aspect ratio that was common uh, with all previous versions of PowerPoint. And you can see on this screen of the hits I got, uh, some, a couple of them are 16 by 9. This one, it has a widescreen, and you can, you can tell the difference just by looking at them. A widescreen aspect ratio, and this one down here, business currency design, widescreen aspect ratio. And if you hover over them, you'll actually see the name of them with widescreen in parentheses. On the 4x3 aspect ratio, you'll just see a name. It won't say 4x3 or full screen. It will simply give the name of the presentation. You can tell, though, because they're close to being square, and these are uh, much more elongated, a widescreen aspect ratio. Okay, now let's say I wanted to create a presentation out of this one called Currency Symbols Presentation. I can click it, and clicking it brings up a preview pane that allows me to page through uh, what various sample slides would look like using this template. And let's say I like what I see, I can go ahead and create from this present, this template. And uh, PowerPoint takes a moment to download the slide from office.com and then shows me the presentation. And a template, as opposed to a theme, will usually have various slides uh, with content on them. And I can come in and fill in uh, the existing content with my own content. It usually has a very specific purpose and not it's not just a set of design elements but it's more specific than that. Alright, that's an example of downloading one of those uh, templates. Now I'm going to close PowerPoint for a moment and then open it back up and now on the start screen you'll notice that there's that template that I downloaded. If I want to keep it close to the top of my start screen, I can pin it to my start screen and it will become available among the other themes that are there. Now it's a template, not a theme, but it will be available and alphabetized along with the ones I have pinned. You can see I have the first four pins and this organic one is not pinned. The push little push pin is horizontally positioned and not vertical. Okay, let's do that search again. And let's say I found a number of these that I might like to use in the future, but I don't want to create a presentation right now. I can, from this screen, pin them to my start screen by clicking the push pin here. And let's say I'm, I'm even interested in this 4 by 3 aspect ratio one. Let's go ahead and pin that one too. All right. Now, we'll close PowerPoint. Open PowerPoint again and there's one of them I pinned to the start menu all arranged alphabetically and there's the other one. Um, I'm going to create a presentation based on this theme and let's say I like the theme. Um, I don't necessarily want to keep all of these sample slides. I don't like it as a template but I want to keep the design part of it, the background art, the fonts, uh, the position of everything. I like it a lot so I'm going to the design tab clicking the drop down on the themes gallery and choosing save current theme okay and give it some name 
let's call it money01 and save it. It'll save it in my document themes folder and on the gallery it will appear as a custom theme. So even if I delete this template now, I'll continue to have the custom theme. All right, let's close PowerPoint and let's bring up Windows Explorer. This is the uh, folder that contains all of my default themes and there is that one template that I downloaded, Currency Symbols Presentation. I can go ahead and delete it here and minimize my Explorer. I'm, now be careful about deleting the default themes. You don't want to do that. Uh, but I just want to delete that template to get rid of it. And let's start PowerPoint and look at our start screen. And uh-oh, there it is. It's still there. It's being read from cache. It's not actually there any longer. I've deleted it. But I'm going to, the way to get it to leave this list is to unpin it. And I'm going to unpin these other two templates too. And then close PowerPoint. And then open PowerPoint again. And now the templates are gone. Two of them were pinned there just by virtue of me pinning them from office.com. But the one I had actually downloaded, it will continue to appear in your start screen list until you pin it, unpin it, and then close and open PowerPoint again. And then it will truly go away. But if I create a presentation, you can see that I still have access to the theme that I saved uh, based on that, um, that template. Okay, thanks for listening.